Hi submarine friends. We're going to do something different. We're going to talk about some submarines that other people own. I'm asked quite often how many people have submarines that they've built themselves. Well, it turns out there's quite a few of us and we all meet through a submarine group called uh, psubs.org on Facebook and www.psubs.org. It's a fantastic site with lots of information. So lots of people build subs from all walks of life, welders, architects, engineers, even a house mover like me. Today I want to talk about R300. That's a submarine built by Dr. Cliff Redis in Divine, Texas. Cliff is an oil and gas engineer for the last 44 years. He's got eight patents. He's published. This guy really knows what he's doing, so designing this sub was not a problem. He spent 30 years thinking about building a sub after watching Jacques Cousteau and Jules Verne's and different shows like that. Well, you know, I get that question all the time. Why a submarine, right? Um, when I was a little kid, I used to watch uh, under, Undersea World of Jacques Cousteau. Ever since I was a young pup, I just wanted to build a submarine, to be able to go down and, and see this other world. So that's that's why. So. He, he finally decides to build the sub. It took him two years to design it and draft it and get it all engineered. And then another two years to actually assemble the submarine. So the R300 submarine definitely falls into the very high tech category. It has a PLC display monitor that keeps track of every system in the submarine from life support, battery level, depth, temperature, humidity, CO2 level. The list is endless. It is so detailed, it's, I can't go over it all, there's just too much. The sub has 72 hours of life support. It even has a beacon on it so they can track the submarine from the surface. I use a, a marker buoy, but this thing uses a beacon so they can just follow him with the boat on the surface. He has diver communication, of course, and actually we have all adopted his system. Cliff took a regular scuba diving uh, communication system and adapted it to work in submarines. We've all copied it and it's standard issue on all our homemade submarines now. So the R300 you notice has a super sleek body style. That gives the submarine terrific performance. It can travel eight knots for four hours and that comes from that slippery shape that it has. The sub is 17 feet three inches long, it's six feet three inches wide, and four feet one inch tall. So the sub is super easy to tow because it's so aerodynamic. The weight is really nice and it sits on the trailer really nice, making it really nice to launch into the lakes as well. So after Cliff dove the sub in Texas and in Florida and different places, he brought it to Lake Tahoe, which was a 1760 mile tow. I brought my submarine from Canada and the two of us dove in Lake Tahoe together. Before we started diving together, he did his qualification dive, which was 402 feet. This submarine is so high tech, it actually did that dive completely remotely. Cliff was not in the sub and he was not giving it commands. The computer system dove the sub and brought it back to the surface one hour later qualifying the sub to dive 300 feet with an occupant. So one of my most favorite dives I've ever done was with Cliff. It was the 300 foot dive. So Cliff was in his sub, of course, and myself and Alex Smythe were in my sub and we took it down 300 feet. It was just the most fantastic thing. When can you ever have an opportunity to dive and watch Cliff's sub going around and around my sub? His sub is so fast and so maneuverable, we basically just sank to the bottom while Cliff zoomed around us and videoed us while we videoed him. Lights on, lights off. It really was a fantastic dive. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Cliff's sub and hearing about how it works. Next time, we're going to do a video on a super, super simple submarine that was built from plans. It really is a fantastic little submarine. It's in Santa Barbara, California, and it is literally being tested today. They're going to send us video and pictures, and we'll show that to you guys next. Ciao for now.